Hello everyone, or good morning everyone, whatever you call it. Uh, this is your good home neighbor, Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2 fans, that's one year. And I will be hoping you enjoy my trailer review of What If Season 2, and I will be hoping you enjoy my fun video about my reaction of which got a really want really and want tomato, which I will never accept that for my entire life. And you know what, uh, uh, honestly, I you know what, I just like the Marvel, I'm just going to know it with the negative review, and I'm just going to focus... Uh, I'm, honestly, I'm just going to be focused on some early review for now on, because I was an early review... Do not trigger people more than Rotten Tomatoes. And I am done with Rotten Tomatoes because, honestly, guys, I've been supporting Rotten Tomatoes in the past few years. And at this point, this is seriously crossing the line. Honestly, guys, I'm just completely done with Rotten Tomatoes. I am no longer going to talk about Rotten Tomatoes ever again. And, and people just don't send me any movie that's going to get one, which I'm not. Honestly, guys, I just do not care. And if Frozen 3 got a higher, I might do it in the future. But if Frozen 3 got a really rotten rating, I'm just going to go to Rotten Tomatoes. And, and they all seriously going to regret this if that happened. So, hey guys, so welcome back to another Disney week, which I review some classic Disney movies, some Marvel Disney movie, and not just Disney. And sometimes I do review some, um, sometimes I do review some of the Pixar movies because my last Pixar review I did, which is another why Toy Story 4 is a pain free average. And some of the people would disagree with me, and a lot of people were kind of, kind of, uh, respect my opinion, which I really liked it very well because with that, uh, honestly, I respect people's opinion. It's much better than bashing people. Uh, bashing people's opinion, honestly. And uh, honestly, guys, I just did my top ten worst movie of 2019, and people said, "Who was Toy Story 4? People, have you not watched my video, guys? You gotta watch my videos, and then you can judge my list. Because I'm not gonna put on. Uh, honestly, guys, I'm not gonna put Toy Story 4 as the best list because it won't make sense. Because I call that movie painfully average, so I put it as the number ten worst film of 2019. But the way it's not as bad as Dark Phoenix or The Lion King or Hellboy. Ugh, those three movies all crap themselves, and including Arctic Dog and Terminator Dog Fart, ugh, and Star Wars a Fort. You know what? And and Star Wars um Star Wars a Rise of Poot Walker. Yes, go to those movies, and those movies go in the dumpster fire and stay there. The same thing with The Wish, Want and Score. And so, hey guys, so today I am doing a movie review on the 15th anniversary to one of the most underrated movies of 2008, which is another than Bolt. Yup, let's face it, Bolt is a guilty pleasure, is a fantastic movie, and came out of year of 2008. Man, can you not believe it's been 15 years when this film came out? Man, time do go fast, isn't it? Anyway, enough further ado. Let's get this review started, shall we? So, hey guys, I was so curious what this movie's about because the movie's about a bolt, a voice by John Zavosa. And to be honest, I'm just gonna be done with John Zavosa because after I saw the movie called Gotti, which is really a bear scene, and I used to call it one of the worst films of 2000, 2018, which I cannot believe why that film turning five years old, five years old, for goodness sake. So, put a plug on already. Honestly, guys, I'm just completely done with John Travosa. Yeah, John Travosa isn't good he used to be because the only, um, and honestly, guys, we haven't, honestly, we haven't had a good John Travosa movie since this film, Bolt, because, honestly, guys, I won't mind John Travosa voice by a dog because, honestly, guys, John Travosa can be a legend, but not anymore because his movie nowadays or stink like monkey poop. And honestly, guys, and just like Bruce Willis, I really hope John Zavosa will retire because nobody care about his new movie. Honestly, guys, um, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, only way you know is pretty sad saying this, but honestly, guys, let's face it, nobody wants to see a new movie starring John Zavosa. But if the movie gets a sequel from Bolt, it would change John Zavosa into a different level. And so, hey, guys, so after I watched the trailer, I was like, eh. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Honestly, guys, I have no idea. <clears throat> I have no idea when this film came out. So, you know. Anyway, honestly, guys, when this film came out, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, years ago, um, people really loved the film. But honestly, guys, this film got a mixed review, honestly, because some people think it's good, think it's bad, think it's mediocre. And nowadays, people just don't talk about this film. The same thing with B Code 6. People, you got to talk about this and B Code 6. Honestly, guys, I just, uh, um, honestly, guys, Honestly, guys, I probably wish it's going to be the one movie that people are not going to talk about in the future, which I really hope that's not going to happen, because if that happened, I am, I am, I am seriously going to be a heartbreak, honestly. I'm just going to be a heartbreak. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, but after I watched this film years ago, back in um, 2009, honestly, because this film came out on DVD in 2009, honestly, and after I rewatched this film for the couple of times for this review, all I said, but this film, sorry, all I said, but this movie 
is a very underrated, is a very guilty pleasure. And let's hope, and so yeah, and let's hope Wish, we, I'm sorry, let's hope Wish would be, um, would be the number one most underrated Disney movie ever. And yes, I'm going to call it underrated because, of, because honestly, I just got really disgusted. And now we got another underrated movie. Yep, a graduation. We got another underrated movie, which another didn't wish. Oh my goodness. So you guys, this is handed down one of um this is handed down <clears throat> this is handed down one of the most underrated movies of two thousand eight in the history of mankind. But the one question is, is this is my number one favorite anime movie of two thousand eight? Nah. I think Kung Fu Panda and Wally is so much better than Bolt. But honestly guy, even I'm a Disney fanboy, but honestly guy, I'm not gonna honestly guy, I'm not gonna like every one uh, um everything about Disney. Do you only think I will like uh, uh, um, uh, underdog and honestly, guys, at least this film is way better than Underdog because number one, they're both dog movie and number two, it came out one year before this film because we got an underdog, which I might do a way in an underdog movie tomorrow, maybe we'll see. Anyway, I know further ado, let's get my positive for this film because I'll get the negative later. Let's get the positive. I'm uh, sorry, honestly, guys, I'm um, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway. And now let's get the story. The story is really original because I've never seen this type of Disney movie before. Because honestly, guys, the story is all about the girl voiced by what well, originally it was Chloe Grace, and now they got switches to Myra Savage, which I'm gonna get that in a minute because she did not suit up as a young teenager, um, voicing by a young sorry, voicing by adult girl who was from Disney Channel back in the day. So I'll get that in a minute. So yeah. And honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, the story is really original. The character is really likable. Like, honestly, guys, the main character, Bolt, I really like the character, Bolt. And this is easily one of my favorite performances I've ever seen from John Travolta. And honestly, guys, I don't understand why some people have a problem with John Travolta as Bolt. Honestly, guys, people said that Adam West should voice by Bolt, or even Tom Allen. And honestly, guys, I'm just going to disagree because Tim Allen do not suit up as Bolt, and definitely not Adam, um, Adam, um, um, Adam West, I meant to say. Honestly, guys, I'm almost going to say Adam Semmel, which, honestly, guys, speak of Adam Semmel, a Leo movie got way more higher than Wish. Such disgusting. I do not want to think about that. It's kind of mummy of, sorry, it's kind of mummy of watching that one video about the disgusting with two girls. Ugh, man, I don't want to talk about it. It's stupid. Anyway. Sorry, guys, I was completely unnecessary, but anyway, back I was saying. Sorry, guys, and honestly, guys, Bolt is a fantastic character, and you feel so bad for him, but um, honestly, guys, you feel so bad for him, because honestly, guys, he want to be, um, um, honestly, guys, he want to be a superstar, that he want to find, he want to find her, I mean, his, his, um, his, um, his kid, um, no, 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 kid, oh, no, 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 mm, what's her name, um, uh, uh, daughter, I must have said, daughter, anyway, yeah, honestly, guys, he was trying to find her, but honestly, guys, both find that one black cat, which I really like the black cat in this one, and people, I'm not being racist, people, honestly, <laughs> honestly, guys, I was, honestly, guys, I was completely racist, and I'm just gonna look at the name, because I don't want to call her a black cat, because that is racist, and you know that, anyway, and now let's get to this, hmm, well, where is that? Mitten. Okay, Mitten. Okay. Mitten, which is, a, which is the cat over there who hang out with Bolt. Honestly, guys, she is so hilarious. And she's honestly... Uh, honestly, guys, she's so hilarious. And she's honestly one of my... Hmm, one of my third favorite characters in this film. And the hamster. Honestly, guys, the hamster was completely underrated character. I don't understand why some people call him annoying, call him a George Roy Disney, which honestly, guys, you cannot compare him to George Bank. It's kind of reminds me of people comparing all of the Frozen 2 and compare it to George Bank, which even compare it to George Bank, that is a insult, and you get the George Bank, George Bank nonsense out of here. Thank you. Anyway, uh, uh, honestly, guys, the, honestly, guys, what's this girl that she really like both so much? Oh, Penny. Penny, Penny. Honestly, guys, it's just me. Honestly, guys, it's Honestly, guys, is this just me, or is it just the same name, like Penny from Kyersville? Let's think about it, because, uh, guys, let's think about it, because we got a girl named Penny, and now this year, we got Penny, a Penny, a Penny, about a quarter, about something. And the other one, which is another than Penny, a young girl Penny from Kyersville, which is my second favorite character of Kyersville. Anyway, and Penny, she is a very awesome character, and the only, honestly, guys, the only problem I have... Which is now then, why in the world in Neptune above? 
that her voice got switched to Maya Sellers. Honestly, guys, no offense to Maya Sellers, but Maya Sellers do not suit up as a as a young teenager. I'm sorry, as a young lady, which is young lady because she is a teenager, and Maya Sellers like almost a twenty, almost a thirty, back in years ago, back in two thousand eight. I don't know. Anyway, uh, honestly, guys, uh, no, a uh, Chloe Grace should have voiced Penny in the entire movie. Not my service and Disney. And just like Adamant, please do not cast Disney Channel actress in your Disney film ever again. Anyway, and Penny's mother was she was really likable. And on the guys on the guys, that's the only character that care that really care about Penny and her dog on the sea and trying to find her dog on the sea. Yeah. And the animation. I really love the animation. The animation is honestly one of my third favorite working animation of 2008. Because the animation is very detailed, very amazing. But if you watch this, uh, we watch this film. Honestly, guys, I'm, I'm, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, it's just me. Or it's just, <clears throat> honestly, guys, it's just me. It's, is it just me? Or is it just every single time you um every single time you will watch some anime movie from Disney like Bo or Bo um etc. On the guys um um on the guys you can see the character uh the character's design works um works outdated after fifteen years later. <clears throat> anyway, and the climax. This is hands down one of um this is hands down. One of the second most darkest climax I ever seen for Disney for Bible Air. Let's think about it because the climax in this film is so dark, so, so mature, which I really like that climax. This is honestly one of my favorite scenes of this film. And honestly, yeah, there was a sad scene when Bo um, was saving Penny from the fire. Oh boy. Grab your box of t-shirt, everyone. That is even sadder, just like Elsa Death Scene and Frozen 2, which I will talk about that in my movie review of Frozen 2. And don't worry, it will have a bone. Honestly, guys, they will have a bone. They will have a lot, a bunch of spoilers, honestly. And so, yeah. And people, um, um, and people, do you only think I'll give this film like a 10 out of 10? Well, sadly, I have some flaws I have for this film. Let's get the one character that I, that I, that I got completely annoyed. And on the guys, I recommend you get him off the screen, which is none than the Asian, the age, Asian, Asian, which is the guy, <clears throat> which is the guy that he's the director or the producer or something like that, or producer by both movies. I did not like that character. I, and the fact is, I never liked that character to begin with. He is very annoying. Is this just me, or is just his animation kind of work like Michael from The Good Place? One well, thing about it, because they both have a glasses, they both have a smile, they both, honestly, they honestly, they both look the same. And all the guys, all guys said, but even this film came way before The Good Place, but, but he seriously, Michael from The Good Place, done bad. <clears throat> and anyway, and thank goodness, Penny's mother just dwell the agent, um, when, um, just, honestly, guys, just, Honestly, just throw her because Penny Mother was sad, and that didn't help at all because his, uh, uh, um and honestly guys on he was like hey look at the bus say um hey look at the bus say um at least you can find your dog oh my goodness he was so over the top and I honestly and I honestly do not like that type of characters honestly because yeah honestly guys the only uh, I'm sorry sorry the only thing that that this film. Kind of, um, kind of they good. Which is another than one character. If you, honestly, if you, if, if you remove that character, this film should have been a 10 out of 10. But nope, he was in the screen and he was really annoying. And I'm very sorry I called him a, the agent, which, honestly, guys, you can just look it on Google. I'm not talking about the agent. No, I'm, agent. Agent, I meant to say. Yeah, agent. Yeah, the agent, he's really stupid. He's really annoying. And I do not want to see him in the future Disney project ever again. So over guys, Bolt is a fantastic underrated gem with an original story, like a bold character, hmm, except the Asian, honestly. And the voice acting was pretty decent. Like honestly guys, the only thing um <clears throat> the only thing the voice acting was kinda tolerable, which is other than Myra Savas. Honestly guys, no offense to Myra Savas, but she but honestly guys, she did not suit up as a voice of Penny. What next on my uh, what next on what next? Uh, if Myra Savage is going to voice Penny from the good place? I'm uh, sorry. 
Penny from Kaysville. It's better than what that happened. Or, <laughs> or, the, or I thought we were going to regret this. I mean, regret that. So, yeah, guys, this is easily one of my number 10 best movie of 2008. And this is easily one of my most underrated movie of 2008. I'm giving both a 9 out of 10. I love it. And this film deserves a seal of naked awesomeness. And the Asian, get a thumbs down. Because I do not want to see him in a future Disney movie ever again. And thank goodness to Lord that he's not in Once Upon a Studio. If he, honestly, if he, honestly, if he in Once Upon a Studio, and just like Elsa freezing on, honestly, guys, Honestly, guys, I really hope Anna will punch him in the face just like him. Just like in Frozen 1 when Anna punched Hans in the face. Which, I might do the same thing with Frozen. I'm sorry, with the Disney Halo. Because at this point, the Disney Halo are completely toxic and I'm sick of it. So, hey guys, that was my movie review on board. Tell, um, tell me about your opinion on this film on the comment section below. And stay tuned for my movie review on The Little Mermaid, which is my next. So, hey guys, and if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this, please, I highly recommend you, you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share the video with your whole family, and stay tuned for my movie review on The Little Mermaid. No, I'm, no, people, I'm not talking about the newer one, I'm talking about the original one, the, the OG one. I'm, uh, honestly, guys, nobody, uh, honestly, guys, nobody give a monkey about the remake one, which I now hate that, and that film is easily one of my number 10 worst film of the year. So, hey guys, and stay tuned for my, um, stay tuned for my movie review on The Little Mermaid. Part of your world, which is my favorite song, and I cannot believe why the 2023 ruined our song and made it as a cringy, cringy Broadway show. <clears throat> anyway, I'm um, sorry, honestly, guys, um, that's enough for me for now. Anyway, I see you guys in my next video, which is another than my movie review on the Wooden Mermaid. See you there.